Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have here the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which I've just unboxed. I'll leave a link in the top right if you want to see that video. But we're going to go ahead and set it up for the first time. So you can see the welcome screen here. I've got English UK, so we'll go ahead and press start. And then we'll go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'll tap my Wi-Fi and enter the passcode. And then it should go ahead and connect. And then you can see it's connected and we'll go ahead and press next. Then we have terms and conditions. So I'm just going to agree to the top two. And you don't have to agree to diagnostics or marketing information. So we'll go ahead and press next there. And then it's going to go ahead and check for updates. And then you can either sign into Google or skip. So I'm going to skip for now. And then you can see all the things that Google will offer you. Obviously, I'd recommend going ahead and signing in if you're going to download apps and use the phone. And then you can go ahead and enter a name. So we'll just enter Jack. And then hit next. And then you have options of setting up the facial recognition, the fingerprint scanner, the iris scanner, pin, pattern or password or no nothing at all. So we'll go ahead and say the fingerprint scanner for now. So hit next and then it's going to say you need to use a secure screen lock as well so pin. So we'll go ahead and enter that and not to require when the device needs powering on. So we'll just do 111. Continue. And then it's going to show you you need to place your finger on the excessively high placed fingerprint scanner, you can go ahead and place it on there. And then once it's done, you can go ahead and add other fingerprints, but we'll just hit continue for now. And then you can choose what you want to show on the display when it's locked, so you can either have Nothing show or you can have your notifications so but we'll leave it on at the top there and leave these off. And then it's asking you to just say that your phone is secure. And then you've got Google services, so Google location to help apps, we'll leave that on. Improve uh, location accuracy by using Wi-Fi, I'll leave that on as well. I'm going to turn this off, sending data to Google and then hit next. And then you can see you can also use the Samsung account to sign in, sorry, but we'll go ahead and hit skip for now. And you can feel, see all the things that it can help you with, so Samsung Pay, Find My Mobile and Samsung Cloud, but we'll hit skip. And again, you can transfer content from your old phone, either by using the cloud, or if you have an iPhone or another Android phone, you can use the cable provided. And then we've got some more useful features, so you can extend your battery life by automatically putting apps to sleep, so we'll leave that on. Secure stuff, so we'll leave that on as well. Screen layout, I'll leave at default. And then we have weather forecasts, so we'll leave that on as well. Hit finish, and it's just going to locate where we are, and boot into the device. So you can see already getting notifications, and we're all set up, and that's how you set up your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. If you guys do have any questions on how to set it up, if you have any problems do post a comment down below and if you found this video useful do please give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next video